back out picking. Beautiful day for it. People are leaving already. Now we are running a little bit late. Oh, look at that old thing. Wow. Pretty packed. About 65 degrees out. And the wind is whipping. Let's go see what we find. You got on the cars? Uh, Two dollars a piece, three for five. Three for five. He can't make it out here this week. How much are these things over here? There are different prices depending which ones you're looking at. Okay. Most of them are $15 a piece. Oh, these are slot cars. Yeah, those are slot cars. Cool. And I cut some of the track to like make, you know, different. different yeah, you know what? Like don't that. don't worry about it, man. I've uh, I've seen it work like, a couple times. Yeah, there's oh, oh, there we go. All right. Yeah. And then that there's this is this doesn't go with it. These are some other sets. Oh, okay. so there's a bunch of there's like a counter. Yeah. You know, these don't go with it, but they're just from other right, right, old right. sets. So there's a bunch of it's not just that set. Yeah. It's extra stuff. Like I said, if you're interested, you can make an offer. Can you do 20? That's probably as high as I, I can. Can't do 20. Um I'll do 30. I mean that's yeah. I think that's really reasonable on it. I mean, it is reasonable. I just, like I said, I, I have bits and pieces of it already. Let me think about that as I walk around. No problem. Let me see if I actually need it. I didn't even notice the night thing. I remember this as a kid. Oh, yeah. My cousin had it. My uncle uh, put an actual red light. It didn't go back and forth, but it went one way. Gotcha. Cool enough for us as kids, you know? I actually, when I was in the, I've had nothing but third gen Trans Ams, and in the 90s, when I got my license, my first two of them, I cut the bumper and put a scanner in there. Oh, that's awesome. My buddy's building a replica right now. That's cool, man. I haven't got that level of nerd yet, but someday I might, you know? Oh, I am. Ghostbusters and not. Oh, you're a big man. find some stuff in my next race. So.
that's cool. hands that I don't have. Car called? No, it's just a stock car. I hate these are neat, man. The braille cars. Wish I could read braille. That was me how you could run your fingers across something and read it. Incredible.
it down the first pile. We're doing pretty good. Wow. A little bit of flooding out here. Too early for hot piles. These pennies. Thirteens right here. Too small, but we'll see. Get these old cross trainers. this out. A bunch of pandas. Got some vapes. Cool setup the way he's got it where they need. Like those. Cool stuff. See this old stuff. So, like this axe, this is called a turpentine. Okay. That's a classy motor collection right there, huh? Some big guys. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm showing the whole, the whole collection. Are you? How much is trying to get by? <coughs> 400. 400. <coughs> they were mine. Were they? From the 60s. Oh, that's neat. I've got a whole bag of my dad's I haven't gone through yet, but mm -hmm. they're his from the 50s. And these are real hard. The big ones are. I was going to say, I haven't seen too many <coughs> of these floating around. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty neat. Well, that's what these told. Yeah. Nice, man. All right, thanks. What you got on your little cars? Uh, okay. Oh, there you go. It doesn't matter what this is. Someone's got like an $18 price tag. I don't know the price of it. It's a lucky one. I love that car right here. Look at that time, I couldn't even say 800. I'm good. Some neat stuff, look at that. Got an old gas station, man. Be cool to have some of this stuff in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nine and cool stuff. That's right, the loop the loop thing. So, uh, how much on these Johnnies? Can you do any better if I took all of them from you? How many is there? Four. Do 15 for four. Get one for All right. Yeah, so my family, there's there's two brothers. And then um, my sister, who's married to Billy, who had the sign. Uh, he's them so far. Girls, but. Okay. All girls. Yeah. They need them, too. Like, there's something missing here. Right. <laughs> We're doing handprints for active duty military. So come on. T take a minute. Yeah. Put a handprint up here for our troops. Yeah. This will go somewhere around the world to our military to let them know what to yeah. them. I'll take up way too much room, man. Right here. You put it up there. All right. Put it right there. Let's bring it over real close. Right there. Let me, let me help you. Just like that, dude. All right. Father God, bless this hand. Let your love and your peace and your joy flow out of it so whoever he touches will know that you live with inside him, that you indwell in him. Keep your angels around him so wherever he goes, he knows he's not alone because you're there with him. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.
Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Well, I'm a pre I'm a missionary of art, so if I get a chance to pray for someone, I'm gonna. That's awesome, man. Here you go, color that. it in. You gotta color it in. All right. Cool. And get all the white out. No white left in the hands. Okay, we gotta get all the white out. And see, your generation, I call you guys the 90 O's. Your generation is going to have to be the generation that makes things happen. Don't sit back and wait for things to happen. Make them happen. Make those moments. And the greatest moment you can ever make is with your family. Because that's a lasting moment. That's something that's really beautiful. And you do one of these, 100, 200, 300 years from now, they're going to have them. But you know what happens? The whole world follows you guys. You start doing these, you're going to do them in Brazil, Germany, Bangladesh, Israel. And then all of a sudden, 20, 30 years from now, there are going to be bunches of them. But they'll look back at your generation, the 90 O's here, as legends. Because you started a revolution with Jesus, bedsheets, pastels, art, and love instead of religion, guns, war, and hatred. Hey, I like that, man. And you know where it starts? Right at home. This idea, this is a revolutionary idea and it's got to shake like it. the world because like God, God's got his finger on it and it's too simple. <laughs> I like it. Let me just put my my name right here. You can put your initials in there, but don't put your last name. Okay. I'll just put it. And please try to talk to your, your church about doing one. The Sunday schools across the nation could really shake the world. Not only was that pretty cool, but you got the bus. That she would know that you're there with you. You guys didn't know I love the Lord. Wherever she goes, she's got a Sometimes you come across something you've never seen anything. Look at this. You know, this thing run, man. It sure looks like it would, though. <laughs> That's awesome. That is too cool. That's a, that's a rat rod if I ever seen one. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. That is awesome. And instead of three gums, I got around two gums. And there were probably four 40-yard gums. How much are you trying to get for something like that? So that was, it's mainly just a draw to bring people in. Yeah. If I had to put a number on it, I'd start it around a thousand bucks. That's fair. The guy made a motorcycle you know, too. This guy, um, he, it sold he, like 12 years ago. Oh, wow. oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that was good. Cool. What do we have down here? How much on your little cars down here? The little die cast cars? How much are they? Uh, I guess it's going to vary each one, or I'll sell a whole box. Uh, I don't know that there's any red lines right now. Some of this is going to be just a couple of dollars. Most of them are good. Most of them are good. I'll make you a cake to have one. How much are your, your little cars? One dollar. One dollar. That's a buck. Start racking up here. Mm 
get that one. Road. Still a buck on these? Yeah. yeah. Okay. online but I gotta go through every one of those. Two hours to put this in the truck. Where am I? What is this spot? 
spots not have a name? I don't think these spots have dollar. Dollar? Okay. Yeah. I don't think they have numbers. Tell me next to Miles. Tell me Miles' yeah. spot. They know where that's at. Yeah. Look for that. Do that. Or flag. If you tell them Miles, they know. You, you can see them flag. Pirate flag. <laughs> yeah. They know who Miles is. I know I'm in my own light, but hopefully everybody can see still. Surprisingly, that thing's not that horribly heavy either. No. Love your light, so. Huh? Like your light. Thank you. Sometimes, sometimes then guys are real. Sometimes then guys are real sharp, and sometimes not so much. Diana, gonna have to sort them I watch Frank on there. You know, he talks yeah, about he he's a oil can guy, and he picks up a, a pet boy, one gallon of oil can. Real nice condition. I don't know. It's just like everything else. It is kind of fixed. Because you know, I'll watch them walk by stuff they bought. Peek at these. Heck yeah. Definitely got the best booth out here between you, me, and everybody watching. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. It don't come easy. No, it doesn't. No, you got to be on that hunt 24 7. I'm just going to hold that in my hand for a second. Do anything in that tray for five bucks each. Would you? Yeah, I'll do that. To you. That's a nice treadmill. I mean, twin mill. Treadmill. Twin mill is sweet. Yeah, that'd be my bargain box today. I had that one as a kid, so. That's one of the re release red lines no, right sir. there. No, sir. No, sir. What is that, then? That's a. No paddy wagon. Yeah. <laughs> like the most, the most common red line in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I see it when they go on auction, like 25 bucks. You know what I'm saying? When I see them on eBay, that's what they usually bring. That's actually a marble. That's and sad. it's got a battery in it. And when you turn it on, it, the lights light up on it. Is that what it does? Wow. Yeah. I got a few of these already. You don't remember what like the It's a mop the wall. Yeah. That's an old black one. Black wheel, Hong Kong. Yeah. Some good shit there. Love this thing. All right, I'm gonna get that from you. What we have here. We got some cool stuff today, and these are a buck each. Lots 
lots of dirt in there. Lots of stuff I already have. up over at Big Man's. Just bought some loose ones down there. Red hats. The 60s Johnny Lightning, these are all 70s, most of them. Yeah. That's a high wheel. How much you getting for this one? Missing the black. Oh, it is missing. You can get a beater and put it on there, they just pop off. Yeah. How about this? Pair them all, two bucks a piece. All right, you got it. All right, guys, people are starting to pack up. We threw 120 bucks today, but money well spent. Let's go home and see what we got. Back home. What a great day of picking. So good, I had to grab myself a little podium, put the loose parts on it. Get started and see what we got. No particular order here. This is the stuff I got from the last guy there. And we start off with this nice 95 Camaro convertible. Beautiful candy apple red. Boy, look at that sun. Glistening. Nice R8 convertible. Or spider, as they say. Beautiful red. That's a nice car. Like this one. Splitting image. Always a fast one on the track. Metal body, metal base. Twin cockpit. The exhaust running right down the middle. Must get loud. We don't have too much glare here. This is a Batmobile. I don't think I had it. Then I noticed when I was editing, somebody yelled out, you got it, or something like that. Kind of a blue color. Here's a 19 Corvette ZR1 convertible. Man, a lot of Burt's. One day we'll have to do a convertible race. Like the clear tails on that. Pretty true to life. Nice. Another vet here. Corvette C6R. One of the best cars to ever do it on the track. Handful to drive. Another Corvette. This is the C8R. Awesome. Here's the Porsche 935. Nice blue color. Love that whole color scheme. Here's the Toyota AE86 Sprinter. We call it a Corolla over here. Not bad though. 
got all these cars for a dollar each. So, not too shabby. Mazda Repu. I don't know why I called that a Datsun when I was out there, but can't see as well as I used to. You can see a little Yokohama on the side. Pretty cool. Love this thing. All the way back from the Hot Wheels race team days. Custom 71 El Camino. This one's got the black flames, gray paint job. Cool jet engines in the back. A lot of detail. Another one I love. Cadillac ATS VR. The 2023 Nissan Z, or as I call it, the 400Z. Wow, a lot of dust on these. You can tell they've been at a few markets. We've got a ton of pollen out here right now, so if I sound a little nasal, that's why. 2023 Nissan Z. Here's a, another favorite of many. Toyota Land Cruiser 80. Nice detail on that. Still wish they would do an actual wheel for the spare. But hey, what can you do? Budgets. Another AE86. Got the good taillight tampos on it. Another Mazda Repo. This one's an orange. Back in my day, man, you could see these everywhere. Datsuns, Toyotas, Nissan hard bodies, slammed on the ground. Mini trucking days. 64 Nova Gasser in green. Not bad for a buck. Cars like this, I think, will be a little harder to find 20 years from now. Yellow Honda S2000. looking yellow and another little truck 72 Chevy love love the way this one's done got the mill sticking out of the hood tubbed in the back Chevrolet stamped on the tailgate that's cool and look at this global series that's a Mercedes-Benz Unimog Police truck. Honda Prelude. 1998. Perfect color combo. Silver with the red guts. Love that. Right hand drive car. The taillight tampos. Looks like a Japanese license plate. That's pretty neat. And picked up a super. Couldn't resist this one. Fat Fendered 40. Miller's cams, this one's got the rubber tires, metal base, metal body, custom paint job. And I got myself a free blister pack to protect it. This is a great deal. I wanted five bucks each for these. I ended up asking him if he'd take a little less if I took all of them, and he said yeah. So I got all four for 15 bucks. Look at this bad boy, 27T Roadster. Awesome looking Johnny Lightning hot rod. Man, look at the gear shift in it. That's just cool. Man, awesome. There we have a 32 Ford High Boy. Nice green. Beautiful paint job, huh? Great detail on that engine. Rubber tires. Got a 55 Chevy Nomad. A nice looking paint job. Opening hood. Thunder Wagon series. What was in that series? Pretty cool. Oh, look at this. 
We have an invader. Can you get out of my bag of cards, please? Hey. What are you doing in there? Huh? Hey. There's no cat food in there. Yeah. Out of there. Look at this. 32 Ford Roadster. That's awesome. Rubber Goodyear's on it. Man, glad to get these. 15 bucks, not a bad deal. Got a few stragglers in the bottom of the bag. So some may have fell out of the other bags, but that's all right. Look at this. Velocitor. Had me baffled. Hot stock styling. It's just a Mattel stock car. I think it's a Thunderbird, right? Yeah. Thunderbird stock car renamed the Velocitor. Or it's an error. I don't know. Who knows? Somebody in the comments knows. I only found myself one of these. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Back to the future time machine hover mode. You can see the tires there. Not going to win any races with this one, but I imagine it would have been tough for Hot Wheels to actually make the wheels flip in the place and roll. But this one actually will roll. It's got little wheels on there, you can see. Got the Mr. Fusion in the back. Oh. Here's a T-Hunt. Ollie Rocket. Got me with the shiny gold. Out of all those T-Hunts, I picked this one. Yeah, we'll throw it in a race there. Just show me shiny things and I get it. Pick these up for Manny. Two Honda Civic Si EKs. Both of them equally as nice. Don't see any errors or differences. These wheels and tires always get me though. They look like rubber tires, but I know they're not. Still great detail on this car. Left-hand drive, huh. Got a nice Firebird, 84. Trans Am on the side. It's like an old Formula Firebird, but this looks cool. Man, look at all this pollen. Unbelievable. Gotta basically wash these cards. This is a Fair Lady 2000. Paid a little bit more for the Civics and for that one, but worth it. A Nissan Skyline RS. It's an R30 right there. Beautiful purple with the gold. Wait a minute, didn't I get two of these? Hold on a second. One fell out in the bag. Look at that. Beautiful color combo. Love that car. Guess you can import these already to the States. R30s? Yeah, I think we're on R32. Maybe maybe even R33. And we're about to be able to import R34s, I think. Man, time flies. I gotta tell you. Wait till y'all get old. Here's a... Not so exciting. 2022 Renault Magan. Magane. Magane. Who knows? A Renault. When I was a kid, we just called it a Renault. I remember my grandparents had a small little white car. A Renault something. Here's a 60 El Camino. Love that Matchbox is doing this car. Usually they stick to the late model El Caminos. This might be the first year El Camino. 1960. Another matchbox. Hey, speaking of hard body, here you go. These things were tough. Not quite as tough as a Cybertruck, but called them a hard body for a reason. You could actually hit them with stuff and they wouldn't ding. Here's the Batman animated series, Batmobile. Long gold. That's for when Batman wants to go out and stunt around town. Here's a gold 70 Chevelle. At least I think it's gold. It's in a real yellowed blister. Nice car. I bet that paint's phenomenal when you get it out of there, but we'll wait till race day for that. Something's been eating this. 
This is a 90s Camaro convertible. Filthy dirty. Nasty. Not sure what's been eaten on it, but something. Here we go. Look at 75 cents at Walmart. Hydroplane. The little wheels on the bottom. I love seeing boats go down the track. Pretty cool. And look at this. Found a Johnny Lightning in the six for five bin. Chrysler Atlantic. Kind of a neat era in Chrysler history. Looked like everything was going that direction between the Prowler and this thing. Then all of a sudden, they changed up on us. Here we have the passing gasser. Yeah, none of this stuff's mint on card. So when you see me kind of sifting through it real fast, me and everybody else has done that. You know, these cars have gone from market to market and been beat up a little bit, got creases in the cards, but they're in a six for five bin. What do you want? Teed off. Nice little golf tee. Just stick your golf ball right on top of there and swing away. And love this car from Fast and Furious. Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. Very cool. Down in the bottom here. What do we have? Oh, another one for Manny here. This one got a little bent. I know Manny likes to keep his stuff on card if he can. Yeah, this will be one he can rip because the card's not perfect, but Honda Civic Custom. Got the bigger tire on front representing the drag radials the guys put on there. Little skinnies on the back. Nice little EG hatch. And another Civic. Give this one to Manny as well. 73 Honda Civic Custom. Love the little X's on the headlights. It's just too cool. Look at the R badge on the back. That's awesome. I'll get a nice little breeze. Beautiful out today. About 70 degrees. It's supposed to rain later, but we're good now. Look at that. Faster than ever. Always got to pick these up. This was three bucks. Actually, I think I got them two for five, so 250 for a faster than ever car. Shelby GR1 concept. Nice chrome. Nice. And some NASCAR. Here's a number 18 Interstate Batteries car, Ravel. Love the Ravel cars. Rubber tires, detailed chassis, full detail interior. Who is that? Bobby Labonte? Edition of track. Yep, Bobby Labonte. Joe Gibbs Racing. Cool. And I always got to pick up a truck when I see one. Toby Butler. 21 Ortho truck. That is neat. Racing champions in the back of there. There you go. Oh, look. Got the networks. Huh. Look at this thing. Guy had a couple of them there. Five bucks. Roddenberry's Racing. That's a Steve Grissom. I don't think I have that in my... I might have that in my collection loose somewhere. Oh, look at this. Got a little bio and a picture on the back. 63220. Big boy. Wow. Even got wife Susan, children, Steve Kyle. Birth date, birthplace. Jeez, everything. That's awesome. stand up too good but and another nascar i got these nascar for a buck each there's a 94 car mcdonald's nobody does racing like upper deck that's a bill elliott car oh look at this official order form please send me put your name bill elliott commemorative card blow-ups Cool. 
And here we go. Not a loose card, but almost loose. Still in the package. Number 43, Cheerios car. I don't think this generation of NASCAR ever ran with this livery, but cool to see. Something you would have gotten a box of Cheerios, I imagine. How many of you guys ate all your cereal, then took out the toy? Yeah, I imagine nobody. First thing you did when you got home from the grocery store was open that box of cereal, whether you were going to have a bowl or not, right? Reached in there and got the toy. So this might be a mail away. Who knows? All right, we'll be back right after this with some loose stuff. All right. Last place I ended up at at the market, Brett's place. I ended up getting these for two bucks each. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at the shocks. Oh, it's got the opening trunk. Put your suitcase back there. Convertible rolls. Rolls great. Man, look at the shocks. I think that's worthy of going to slow mo. See how many bounces we can count. Ready? Beautiful car. Man, I can't get over how great that rolls, too. 89 Lesney car. Put that right up there. Keeping with the uppity cars. Here we have another Rolls Royce. That's a Yatman. Eh, decent shocks, but nothing like that matchbox. But we got some opening doors here. Sir? Oh, that's a driver. Right hand drive. Sir? There you go. Red guts. Of course, I guess you'd be getting in the back of this thing. That yeah, roll's decent. Probably not winning any more races, but probably never did. Look at this. This is a key car. Lockups are called. Yeah, I guess you turn your key in there, lock it up. Nobody can get in there. Wheels probably don't roll. Opening doors. Rolls pretty good. Decent shocks. Oh, makes a cool noise. And look at this. We got a Bricklin. Lesney. What is this? Oh no, it's a BMW M1. Duh. We had opening hood. Or frunk, as they would say. A little bit of shock action. Not bad. Wide car. All right. Go right up there. Hey, here's something you don't see too often. A nice tank. The artillery in the back. This is a Hot Wheels. Good shape, man. Tell you what, not bad for two bucks, all of these. Just on memories alone, these are cool to have. Especially when you see something like this. Look at that, rolls like butter. Old Joker car. What is this from? Made in Great Britain. That's interesting because it doesn't have any name brand. What's that say? Can't read what it says right here, but in the middle, it says Made in Great Britain. Doesn't say anything else. Tell you what, well-made car to last this long and roll this well. As you can see, it wants to roll to one side. Oh, that's why. My podium's crooked. And we got this guy. The Hot Wheels 500, right? Oh no, Turbo Streak. That's right, it wasn't called Hot Wheels 500 back then. Turbo Streak. Some nice black walls. Look at that, Elf on the side. ELF, Michelin. Wow, that is cool. Look at this 
this old John. Man, that's neat. Spin out. Yeah, not quite. Just making a gradual turn to the right. What do we got in there that should flip forward, right? Oh, no. All right. There we go. Show the engine inside of there. Nice little divided bubble top. And this thing, what does that button do? I don't think that does anything. That's for the interior. That is the custom Mako Shark. The old Johnny red lines on it. It looks like it has one red line here, one red line here, and none on the back. Still cool though, look at the way that thing sits. Nice. This is a, what is this? Corvette Racer, made in Hong Kong. No brand name, but neat little generic car. C3 Corvette. And last up from Brett. This is the, anyway, Hong Kong car, Hot Wheels. Missing the black thing. This is a crack up or smash up or whatever they're called. Yeah, since it doesn't have its thing, you can't use the feature. That stinks. And you can see it's smashed up in the back. I'll have to see if I have an old one. Pop the black thing there, and that way it stays nice in the back until it gets hit. And that happens. And a few more loose ones here. You guys out there will have to forgive me. We have a, a Brent and a Brett, and I always get them mixed up. I shouldn't. Had to get this, though. Gave me this thing for five bucks. Just brings back memories from my childhood. Real die cast, not a plastic top. Today, this would be made out of plastic, but that's actual die cast, die cast bottom. Look at that. Old Hot Wheels. Black walls. Rolls great. A lot of people's fastest car back in the day, let me tell you. I can remember being in elementary school and you'd get to talking with each other and challenge each other to a Hot Wheels race. And I distinctly remember bringing my track with me, setting it up off of this, I don't know what it was, some sort of wall. And we had it going downhill. It's probably about an eight foot track. And we raced for cars. I mean, if you lost your car, the other kid took it home with him. So it was, it was real. This thing, I don't know, I might have made a mistake. I noticed in editing, I picked up this paddy wagon, which is in absolute perfect shape. He said it wasn't a re-release, so maybe it isn't. But if it isn't, I mean, this thing's worth some money. Not that I sell my stuff, but the other one looks like it had the black walls with the red lines. This is more of that, I don't know what style wheel you call that, but maybe you guys can elaborate. It doesn't roll very well, but who would expect it to, right? If this thing is from when I think it is, that's pretty old. I don't think it's old. I don't know. The other one next to it, I think, was older. And look at this beauty. Old or not, man. 31 doozy. Beautiful shape. Look at that. Just a great example of that car right there. Orange, brown, and tan. Classy. Right in the middle. And last, but certainly not least, had to pick up this hot rod. Little bucket tea. Window goes up. Look at that. Surprising that it still has that on there, man. That's the first thing to go. Wheels are kind of straight. Just a beautiful car, though. Huh? Wow. Awesome looking paint job. 
Man, this just epitomizes Hot Wheels right here. Love that. And up you go. Uh-oh, I just found two more stragglers in the bottom here. Got them both from that one guy for a buck each. Alley Cat and Big Boss. A couple speed rubbles. Nice bright colors. These will be neat to get out of the package and put on the track. A little look at the back of the cards. Last but not least, look at this. Big scale. Corvette Stingray. Man, I debated on getting this a couple times out there, and then I finally pulled the trigger. Gave it to me for 10 bucks. Love everything about this car. Look at the way that thing sits. Just perfect rake to it. I remember back in the day, you could go in the grocery store, go there with my mom, pick one of these up for three bucks. Just come home and tie a fishing line to the front of it and to the back of my bike and tow it all over the neighborhood, just drifting all over the place. Tow it until the wheels fell off. Literally. Get home, wheels were all chewed up. Didn't care. Probably the most fun I ever had. Ah, found this in the bottom there. This is from the guy that does the handprints. Nice little thing he's got going. Cool little ministry. Works out of that bus. Anything to spread the word. All right, guys. Man, just an awesome week of picking. A little bit on cards, loose cars. All oh, great stuff, great prices. And this guy. Well, beautiful weather out there. Getting time to get back out there and do some picking. Stay safe out there. Hope you find what you're looking for. Take care.